The three men charged in connection to a Richmond police officer's murder are in court. Coming up, we'll have a live report with the latest in the high profile case. Into the early morning hours today, lawmakers struck a deal on the state budget. What that means coming up. Gorgeous looking rest of the day. We head off towards your weekend. Not only does it still look good, but it gets much warmer. I'll show you those high temperatures coming up. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Michelle Chamberlain. Barbara Bailey has the day off. We're working to learn more about the murder of a Central Kentucky teenager. Investigators found 17-year-old Tristan Cole's body last night in a rural area off a Deep Creek Road west of Harrodsburg. Kentucky State Police say he was shot to death. WKYT's Victor Puente is in Mercer County now with the latest on the investigation. And that is our top story at noon. Victor? Kentucky State Police say this investigation is just beginning. They're hoping someone can provide them more information as to how this teen was killed. State police say 17-year-old Tristan Cole was found shot near Deep Creek Road in rural Mercer County Wednesday night just before 9 o'clock. His father tells us he didn't go to school on Wednesday and he and Tristan's grandmother had gone looking for him. Tristan's aunt told me the teen lived with his grandmother and this was a shock to their family. They say he was a quiet, sweet boy. And they can't understand why someone did this. The school system says this is a tragic situation. They're still trying to get a handle on it. The Mercer County Sheriff's Department is working with state police on this case. They tell me they're still conducting interviews and they urge anyone with information as to what may have happened to give them a call. Live in Mercer County, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, Victor, thank you. And Cole's body is at the state medical examiner's office right now. State police say they expect to have his autopsy results at some point later today. New developments at noon in the case against three suspects charged in connection to the murder of a Central Kentucky police officer. Police say Gregory Ratliff led Officer Daniel Ellis into an ambush before Riley Sizemore shot him to death at a home in Richmond late last year. Carl Banks is also facing charges in the case. WKYT's Mark Barber is live outside the Madison County Courthouse where a hearing in the case just wrapped up a few minutes ago. Mark. Good afternoon, Michelle. Next month, the judge will set a trial date for the two men who are accused of killing Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis. The judge says it's just not fair for the community to have to delay this case any longer. Now, there was extra security in court today because there is an accused cop killer here in the court. There were seven extra bailiffs on hand, uh, as well as a stun vest that was on Raleigh Sizemore, the man accused of shooting that Richmond police officer. Bailiff said that they had that stun vest on him in case he started acting up. That way they could shock him without getting too close. Now the officer's widow and a number of other police officers, they were all in court today as three of the four suspects in the case stood before a judge. Raleigh Sizemore is accused of shooting Officer Ellis in the head five months ago. Police say Gregory Ratliff let the officer into the ambush. If they are both convicted, they could face the death penalty. Carl Banks, the third man in court this morning, is charged with attempted robbery. Police say he and the others accused in the case tried to steal a woman's purse outside a gas station back in November. Ellis was investigating the attempted robbery, and when he showed up at Ratliff's home on Ballard Drive, police say the 26 year old opened the door for Ellis and told him no one was inside. According to Officer Sizemore, was hiding in the home and he shot Ellis when he reached the back bedroom. The seven year veteran of the police department died two days later. Ellis's son was just four years old. Now, the judge deciding this case says this is his most important case. So he says that he is willing to clear a month of his trial and he's pushing attorneys to go ahead and schedule it for either March or July. Now, uh, both men will be back in court for a pretrial on May 19th. And again, he's pushing that to happen in March or July. So still some time here before we have any uh, conclusion for this high profile case. Live in Richmond, Mark Barber, WKYT. Now, Banks and Rita Creech, the fourth person charged with attempted robbery in the case, will be in court May 19th. It took weeks of negotiations, but the state house and Senate have finally reached a two year state budget agreement covering the next two fiscal years. Now lawmakers are sorting out the details of the agreement that came in the wee hours of this morning. It has to be voted on and passed before tomorrow, the very last day of the legislative session. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is at our live desk to break down this budget deal. Caitlin. 
Good afternoon, Bill. It's been a long time coming, but while many of us were sleeping last night, lawmakers found some common ground and avoided a government shutdown. We actually were able to accomplish this budget without any uh, nasty words being hurled across the table. It may have taken long days and nights, but lawmakers are ready to finalize the budget deal. Just shy of 3 o'clock Wednesday morning, Senate President Robert Stivers and House Speaker Greg Stumbo, among others, announced they struck a deal. It is an adequate and effective blend, I believe, of the priorities contained in both the governor's recommendation, the House budget, and the Senate budget. Stivers agreed the parties had struggled to agree on how to spend coal severance funds and how much money to put in the state pension fund. But higher education remained a hot topic throughout discussions. Colleges and universities will see a 4.5 percent decrease in funding. That's half what Governor Bevin had proposed. Kentucky State University is exempt. There was strong consensus that President Burse has done a wonderful job being put into a very tough position. And we want to give him the opportunity to move the institution forward. Governor Bevin still has power to veto some parts of the bill. I think I agree it's the governor's uh, prerogative, but these were pretty uh, widely separated documents, pretty widely separated uh, views philosophically. Governor Bevin released a statement thanking lawmakers, saying Kentucky is investing in its pension system in a meaningful way. At the live desk, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. It is important to note now that because this budget was passed so late and is only right now being printed, that the legislature will not be able to override any potential vetoes, and he has line of authority to do that within a budget that Governor Bevin could make to that budget. It is another beautiful day in the bluegrass. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures nearing 70 degrees. And it may get even warmer this weekend. WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our first alert weather center with an early look at the weekend forecast. And hey a lot there. of, lot of mid 60s outside. I mean, we're talking about already seeing mid 60s, and we'll be off in the lower 70s down in the far southern half, but for the most part, upper 60s, lower 70s is what you can expect. A beautiful day in store, and it feels good already. If we stop today, it would still be. A nice day, but we still have about four to five more hours of heating to go. So we'll call it roughly 70 degrees. There is a southern shot at a shower. So we're going to talk about that chance, where you can expect that coming up in just a few minutes. And we'll see you then. Thank you, Micah. Lexington's new fire chief has been on the job a couple of weeks now. She's been a part of the fire department, though, for 23 years. Uh, something that many may not know about her is that she has been living her passion for even longer than that. Fire Chief Kristen Chitlin is a certified veteran. Veterinary technician. She spends her downtime, which isn't much lately, helping to spay and neuter dogs and cats at the Lexington Humane Society. Sometimes we have good moments together, sometimes we have <laughs> sad moments together, and sometimes we have fun together, but we still all work together to get what we need to do to get, get the job done. In an exclusive interview tonight on WKYT News at 6, find out how her passion for animals parallels her job as chief. It's going to be fun to see that interview a little later today. Well, with the Kentucky Derby just a little more than three weeks away now, the trophy to be presented to the winning owner is now at Churchill Downs in Louisville. Yes, it is. And the 14 karat gold trophy is 22 inches tall and weighs just over four pounds, excluding its jade base. It has been created by the same team since 1975. Smaller replica trophies will be handed out to the winning horses, jockey, trainer, and breeder. This year's Kentucky Derby will be held Saturday, May 7th. It is creeping up on us, and Democratic presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders will face off tonight, just days before the critical New York primary. We'll take you out on the campaign trail for the latest, coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, former Beatle Ringo Starr has joined Bruce Springsteen in protest of the bathroom law in North Carolina. Find out how he is speaking out next on WKYT. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million. And you can help decide where that money goes. 
Sign up at Kroger.com slash Community Rewards and link your Plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Call in now during our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window. The company thousands of Lexington area homeowners call for an easy to clean bath or shower like this. And check out our showroom. We're conveniently located at 1190 East New Circle Road here in town. We have 14 baths and showers on display. We have a wide variety of colors and designs, from custom tub-to-shower conversions and barrier-free showers to walk-in tubs and more, installed by our experts in as little as one day. And now's a great time to take advantage of huge savings across the board during our Off to the Races sale. Save up to 20% on your new bath or shower. Ask about our zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. Plus, act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards future purchases. You're always a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. When my four children were little, I worried about everything. When they began to drive a car, I held my breath until they came home. I'm Ultima Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. A car accident takes just a second to occur. Make sure your children buckle up, don't use a cell phone while driving, and never text and drive. We have seen so much needless suffering that could have been avoided. Hug your kids every day. They are what is most important in life. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. What's the affordable difference? It's their very affordable fees. They care about me. Dentures in just one day. Their experienced denture team. Call 1-800-DENTURE or go to affordabledentures.com for valuable coupons. Same day dentures, extractions, and implants, affordable fees, compassionate care, and satisfied patients. What's the affordable difference? A great smile. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. Tension is building ahead of tonight's Democratic presidential debate between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton in Brooklyn. The stakes are high for that, and meanwhile, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is taking jabs at Republican Party bosses again today. Kenneth Craig has the latest from the campaign trail. Donald Trump appeared on Fox News and accused the Republican Party establishment of trying to derail his campaign. I could win. Pennsylvania by a landslide gets 17 delegates, and somebody else could get like 35 or 40, and they didn't even win, but they have connections into the, into the machine. It, it's not right. The latest CBS News national poll shows Trump maintains a 13-point lead over Senator Ted Cruz and John Kasich. As for the Democrats, the same poll shows Hillary Clinton with a 10-point lead in the Empire State. Clinton will work to keep that lead when she faces off against Bernie Sanders during a debate here tonight at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, less than a week before the New York primary. Later today, Sanders will deliver a speech at a civil rights summit. Clinton addressed the same group yesterday and accused Sanders of ignoring them. If we're going to ask African Americans to vote for us, we cannot take you or your vote for granted. Sanders attacked Clinton for her ties to Wall Street during a rally last night in New York City's Washington Square Park. If somebody gets paid $225,000 for a speech, it must be an unbelievably extraordinary speech. 70% of the votes in New York's last primary came from the city's five boroughs. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Brooklyn, New York. And Ted Cruz and John Kasich are scheduled to be the guests on late night TV shows tonight. Ringo Starr is the latest entertainer to pull the plug on a scheduled date in North Carolina. It's over a controversial new state law there. The former Beatles drummer says he has canceled a June 18th concert in protest of the so called bathroom law, which requires people to use bathrooms based on their biological gender and not the gender they identify with. In a statement, Starr says that. He is sorry to disappoint fans, but says he must take a stand against hatred. Starr's move comes days after Bruce Springsteen called off a show in Greensboro in opposition to the law. Jimmy Buffett and Greg Allman also condemned the law, but decided to go ahead with scheduled tour stops in the state. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge got up close and personal with some endangered wildlife during their royal tour of India. 
Prince William and Kate met with a group of villagers before heading to a national park, which is home to elephants, water buffalo, endangered swamp deer, and one horned rhinos. The couple then used large bottles of milk to feed the animals. The Duke and Duchess will return to India this weekend to visit the Taj Mahal. Coming up at 12:30, we'll take you inside a Madison County courtroom where three men who are charged in connection to the murder of a Richmond police officer are standing before a judge. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Are you diabetic or pre-diabetic? Do you have high blood pressure? Do you suffer from chronic pain related to weight gain? Do you spend hundreds of dollars on obesity-related medications? If you want to be the best version of you, Ageless Medical Weight Loss can help. Ageless is a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution. Kim lost 238 pounds. Betty lost 135 pounds. They made a choice to become healthier, and so can you. Call today for a free consultation. Used cars are in short supply, so I need your trade. Right now, at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During the spring clearance event, new 2015 Jeep Renegade Sports are just $189 a month. New 2016 Ram Bighorn Crew Cab four-wheel drives are only $199 a month. And if you have a job and a valid driver's license, we want to approve you. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Want to save energy and money? By replacing an older refrigerator or freezer, you can save hundreds of dollars on your energy costs. And we'll pick up and recycle the old one for free. Turn that old appliance into cash. To schedule your pickup, call today. A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Now, during our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window, get a beautiful new bath or shower installed in as little as one day. And call now for huge savings across the board. Save up to 20% on your new bath or shower. Ask about our zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. Plus, act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards future purchases. You're always a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. I love grocery shopping at Kroger, but sometimes life gets busy. So I use ClickList. It's easy. I just order online. And with thousands of great items and fresh food to choose from, I can get what I want the way I want it, then pick up my order at the store without ever leaving my car. And for me, that's a game changer. Order online, pick up curbside at store. We think you're going to love ClickList. Try it now at Kroger.com slash ClickList. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Wild 1039. Now, your zone by zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Depends on where you are, but I'll tell you this the upper zones, northern or southern zones, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, everything looks great outside. A few clouds filtering in the south. Temperatures are there in the 60s, 50s up north. We'll finish off in the upper 60s to lower 70s later on this afternoon. Again, depending on where you are, but nonetheless, I mean, if you're 69, 72 degrees, it doesn't matter. You won't feel that difference. It's a nice feel for everybody. Mostly sunny skies, I will say this can't rule out. The chance at a southern shower later on this afternoon. When I say south, I mean Cumberland Parkway southbound. That is your best bet to actually see a shower passing on by. But nothing, not a washout by any means. Don't cancel any plans you have going on. Tomorrow and off into your weekend. So tomorrow, we're talking about temperatures in the lower 70s. And everybody's dry tomorrow. Great day in store on Saturday and Sunday. So Keeneland opportunities are endless. Today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, perfect weather for it. If you can't do it in the next four days, trust me, next week, next week's going to be just fine. And we're talking about temperatures not really taking a dive anytime soon either. So here's the breakdown of it. That chance south, remember, south of the Cumberland Parkway, that's the best bet. Other than that, everybody else, zero chance of rain here in Lexington. Just put that in, just put that in perspective. So north of that, northern zone, central zones, no chance of rain. Southern half, that's where you have a couple of showers. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, look at those temperatures. We're at 71, then we'll bump it up a little bit more on Saturday. Then a little bit more on Sunday at 76 degrees, a May feel in the forecast. And finally, finally, here's something that's totally different 
from what we've been experiencing in the past month. Remember, last month was actually pretty warm. But it was warm for about three or four days, and then it dropped back down. Warm for three or four days, then dropped back down. There was a pattern to that inconsistency uh, of, of keeping our temperatures consistent all the way throughout seven days or 14 days. The thing we're seeing now, the pattern we're seeing the next almost two weeks, is going to be the 60s and 70s staying with us. No cold shot in store anytime soon. All the cold air is going to be bottled up, up into Canada. I'm not saying we're not going to have it in the next you know, three or four weeks, but uh, I'm just saying in the next one or two weeks, yeah. I don't see it happening. Looks and like really a the, great weekend for say, weather. Yeah, absolutely. Just this this pattern is much better. So Much better. <laughs> I'm with you. We'll honestly. take it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Micah. And keep it here on WKYT. Back in a moment, the baseball Wildcats make a dramatic comeback. But it falls just short. And Mark Steele says this is Kentucky's best spring practice since he's been here. Dick Gabriel is in next with sports. It's been a good ride the last couple of days on Wall Street. And once again here at midday, the major market indicators are climbing. Tonight, the Big Bang Theory is so funny, we're putting it in writing. It's in my proprietary font, Shelvetica. <laughs> Don't miss the Big Bang Theory. Then, if there's anyone who makes Oscar Madison a better man, I've tried to evolve you into something more refined. It's Felix Unger. The poet Longfellow once. <laughs> but teaching an old Oscar new tricks. Good luck. Take your feet off of the coffee table and for God's sake use coasters. <laughs> a new odd couple right after the Big Bang Theory, CBS Tonight. Farmers hours are sun up to sun down. John Deere and Central Equipment are experts in the tools of their trade. Like the new 5E e series from John Deere with open operator station in the 5045E through 5101E. See the E series and full line of John Deere equipment at Central Equipment. Oh, I hope we have a buyer for the house. Me too. <laughs> what are the neighbors doing here? Bill. Hey. Hey. Come in. I didn't know your home Wi-Fi could stream so many devices at the same time. Dad, it's time for cable internet. Crazy fast. Dad, you can get Wi Fi all over this place. Cool. Make your home as connected as possible. Get internet with unlimited data starting at $14.99 per month and ask about free installation. Call 1 855 1 TWC. Spring is here. It's time for our April Show You the Savings event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. Now choose from over 25 new Buick Encores starting at $199 a month with no money due at signing. A new Buick Verano, $188 a month, no money due at signing. A new Buick Regal, $266 a month, no money due at signing. Or save over six grand on a new LaCrosse. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. Our April Show You the Savings event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... See it says sell them. Now, during our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window, get a beautiful new bath or shower installed in as little as one day. And call now for huge savings across the board. Save up to 20% on your new bath or shower. Ask about our zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. Plus, act now and receive a $500 discount certificate good towards future purchases. You're always a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. The John Deere Gator, a work or play horse. Get your favorite model at Central Equipment. The RSX 850i is all new and all powerful. And the heavy-duty XUV offers 1,500 pounds of towing and 1,400 pounds of payload capacity. Visit Central Equipment for your John Deere Gator. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. Pads will be popping at Commonwealth Stadium Saturday afternoon. That's when the football Wildcats wrap up spring workouts with the annual blue-white game. Final regular practice was this morning. They'll have a walkthrough tomorrow. Mark Stoops is approaching his fourth season as Kentucky's head coach, and he told us earlier today it's the best spring he's had so far at UK.
we've been much more consistent. We have grinded these guys pretty good since they've been back. As you know, we, we needed to do that. We had to do that since, uh, you know, uh, going back to last season as they went home for their break and they came back, they, they came right in and, and hit the ground running in the weight room. Um, as I said many times, we needed to get uh, stronger and we've done that. Spring game Saturday at Commonwealth kickoff is set for noon. They play baseball twice a year in the regular season, the Cats and the Cards, and last night Louisville jumped out early. The Cardinals rushed out to a 7-0 lead after six innings. It started to get ugly, but right about then is when the Wildcats went to work. They climbed back to within 7-6. Lexington native Dorian Hairston, a senior, but a pinch hit, two-run homer in the bottom of the eighth to pull the Cats to within one. And watch him shoot a grin at his brother, UofL shortstop Devin Hairston. But little bro got the last laugh. He led off the ninth with a single, came around to score one of a couple UofL runs. UofL wins it 9-6. to six. Same teams in Louisville next Tuesday. While you were sleeping, Kobe went out in style. He torched Trey Lyles and the Utah Jazz for a season-high 60 points in the Lakers' 101-96 victory. Kobe with 23 in the fourth quarter alone, including 13 straight in a little more than two minutes after Utah had taken a 96-86 lead. And Kobe hit the shot to put the Lakers ahead for good. He finishes 20-year career, 33,643 regular season points, third most in league history, Snoop Dogg loving it. Meanwhile, Steph Curry poured in 46 points, and the Warriors earned their league record 73rd victory by thumping Memphis 125-104. Golden State 73-9 regular season, tops the previous best of 72-10, set by the Bulls back in 95-96. Curry drained 10 more three-pointers, finishes the season with 402. That's 116 more than the previous league record he set a year ago. Agencies quoting sources reporting now it's official. Tubby Smith has come to terms with Memphis and will be the new head coach of the Tigers, replacing Josh Paisner, who left for the Georgia Tech job. Tubby led Texas Tech to the NCAA tournament in just his third season in Lubbock. Tonight on the Big Blue Insider with that guy right there, Herald Leader columnist John Clay, EKU football coach Mark Elder. That's at 6 on 630 WLAP. That's a look at your sports on Thursday, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Dick. We appreciate you coming in for us. And there's a lot more coming up in the next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. We'll tell you about a car auction to benefit a Lexington High School. I'm Phil Pendleton in Whitley County at 1230. We're learning new information about a deadly DUI crash where a pedestrian was killed. Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $80 million, and Saturday night's Powerball jackpot is $205 million.